Good morning, world. Things are chaos. Things are crazy. It is cold. I don't like the cold. Let's see what we can get into with the game, shall we? Because it doesn't look like it gets cold off in Sand Rock. Now I think we are live. Yay! Ah, good morning, Night Owl. Wasn't sure if I was alive or if it was just necromancy kicked in and I hadn't noticed. Pet the fox. So what are my quests for right now? Other than the Holy Grail, I'm always looking for that, but that's a different story, right? No, Duck, I am not looking for rabbits at the moment. My son is over here telling me that I'm looking for rabbits, and I don't think that's true. Of course, he keeps telling me it's rabbit season, so, yeah. You know, I think he's mistaken, but, you know. Hey there. Thanks. I don't recall there being rabbits in this game. Well, maybe there are. Maybe they're one of the few things that's just here, but I can't really interact with. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Morning, cats.
Hmm. Now I need one of these. Hmm. Three more blood stones. So I need two of these. Mayhem. So, how's everyone doing this morning? See how there's not enough space. There's plenty of space, but whatever. I don't want any of that, but today is the best chance we're having possibly this year for frozen precipitation. Or at least this winter. I'm hoping no. But I've been told I'm in the minority. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I do know, as a programming note, that I'm going to have to cut things short today. Just because my son's got a job interview, and I've got to go take him to it. This is a good thing. He needs to work. Hopefully work someplace that's not going to treat him the way the last places were. Thank <laughs> you. 
Those last places were just, well, not good and viable options. Five hours. I still have a little time to make it happier though, so I'm going to. Because happy grain makes better bread. I have no idea. I'm making that up. I'm entirely making that up. I have no idea. So, anything else interesting happening in the world today? Or is everyone just kind of frozen? Because frozen, you know, is a valid option.
that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well. tend to think that, you know, that's their due. And who are we to tell them they're wrong? I just harvested a whole bunch of wheat, but I'm not allowed any of the straw from it. Ah, greetings! Thank you for your Twitch bucks!
Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I gave him the wheat. And uh, now I need to build more bridge stuff. This is not the bridge of the River Kwai, though, so nobody's trying to bomb or shoot us. No slave labor involved, you know. So there's place I need to go to, but I need to go get some research started so that I can get more tech, so that I can build more things. Well, so that I need more tech. It's it's a loop. Has Owen told you about his new idea? It's even been approved by the church and all. We're going to make the world a better place. Ah, let me fill you in then. Short of it is, some small villages around Sandrock are just scraping by, eating sand rice three meals a day. Owen, being the boss he is, decided to step up and ship some hearty meals their way. Only question was logistics. We pitched it to the church and they were on board right away. Had a bit of back and forth. They said they'll help deliver meals if we... Uh, Owen cooks them up. Right? I think it's kind of amazing. These small villages are pretty far from Sandrock, and the desert is a relentless climate. Not so fun fact, perishable food starts to spoil after only two hours in the heat. This is true. Plus, if we're going to bring them food, I want it to be fresh. Their lives are hard enough. They don't need soggy room temperature noodles on top of the, you know, hardship and everything. So I designed an insulated backpack based on a takeout box relic found by the Civil Corp. It said that in the old world, people could enjoy fresh food without even needing to leave their house. These takeout boxes, they used an advanced technology to make a compound of aluminum oxide and silica powder. Mm. This compound is a soft, flexible material that was used for effective insulation. Using this box, food could be kept fresh long enough to ensure a safe and enjoyable delivery. I tried to get Chi to look into the tech for me, but he said it didn't seem worth it. Oh please, space tech isn't the only thing worth studying. Yeah, ahem. Best not to get too worked up about it. Anyway, after a bit of my own research, I now have a recipe for the insulated backpack. Would you mind helping me make it? 
Thank you so much. All right, come show me when it's ready. I'm kind of curious to see how useful this old world tech really is. <laughs> it's very useful, and no, you can't use it for carrying bombs. Or knives. You seem to like knives. You've had me build quite a few of them for you. Grace recently suggested that we send food to the surrounding villages in Sandrock. You know, I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> she really is something. I took her idea right to the church, and they said yes without hesitation. Dan B volunteered to be the delivery girl about two seconds after. <laughs> yeah, quite a few people in town are from the villages originally. You know, Burgess is, and, uh... Logan's friend, Haru. Uh... Uh-huh. Sand leaks. How many sand leaks do I already have? I have 30! I can give him this now. Uh... Uh-huh. Woo! Level! Kind of, sort of, but not really. Um,
in some respects that it feels like um, old school MMORPGs. Um, some of the same mechanics as original Lord of the Rings Online or original Fall, you know, uh, RuneScape, stuff like that. Now, there's actually supposed to be two of us. I just do some of it, and they do a lot of stuff off screen. Got that backpack for me? Hey! You know, the more I study old world technology, the more I realize that most of their advancements came from pure laziness. This These is takeout true. boxes, for example. It's just because they were too lazy to leave their house or cook. Hmm. Certainly, if necessity is the mother of all invention, laziness is the father. Or uncle. Daughter? Because necessity comes first? Cousin? Well, anyway, thanks for your help. I'll give this to Danby. They said she was more than eager to do the deliveries, and I'll be there to give her a hand. Oh, don't worry about it. If I'm in danger, I'll just call out. I'm sure the Civil Corps will come running. We arrive in 10 minutes or less, or your next rescue's free. That's the justice guarantee. <laughs> See you later. Trying to find where these chests are because I don't remember where some are. There's one of them. I can't get there from here. Oh well, I'll get that one later. Yeah, because Mian's here. See? Another builder. Come on down to the Blue Moon Saloon. Home to the tastiest treats this side of the youth <laughs>
<sighs> this, yeah, storyline kind of fallout. You know, it's post apocalyptic, so. But then, so is actually Lord of the Rings, if you think about it. How many ruins of an old civilization you fall in, you find in Lord of the Rings? Of course, that's an analogy for post-Roman Britain, so, you know. I almost forgot I need to go collect scrap. I've become much more humane at this soon. When I, when I mean that is, uh, well, 
Alright, kill these guys in a single hit. Any more storage bins? Hey, Foxy Lady. <laughs> Water break. Ah, oh, good timing. I'm just chugging. Water surface centers been broken. Fluids have entered the orifice. Now, I would not suggest delivering this the way I'm about to, because, well, 
if you're delivering two giant bridge trusses, I don't usually suggest just handing them off to somebody in the middle of the street. Hey, these look great. I think it's going to be ex- Unfortunately, things are going pretty slow on my end. I'm afraid we won't be able to install your frames for a while. If only there was a way to get this done faster. Well, don't worry. We'll be in touch. Thanks. Sand blowing sideways in 45 degrees. I'm guessing they're saying Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Um. Meh. Sounds like spring. Yeah, this is when Quiet gets his Quiet on. Vomit. Remember, I'm not interested in simply fragments of an old relic. I want the whole device in one piece, ideally working. The civil core keep bringing me rubbish. Once they even confused an actuator for a transistor. Can you believe that? With the civil core, yes. Huh? 
potatoes. Potato. Potatoes, the original biograble munition. Now notice, I do not encourage anyone to make any destructive or unsafe devices. And potato cannons are not technically legal in the United States of America. This being said, I, well, this being said. You know, sandstorms are no fun. I actually like sand, so, you know. It can be a problem sometimes, yes, but so can anything else.
upgrade some stuff to get this stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, inspections. knocking on his door. Wouldn't be knocking on his forehead, but you know. I don't get to knock on his forehead. They don't let you beat up NPCs in this game. And no, uh, you're not allowed to take any of them on a long walk down a short pier or any, you know, other such. Did I build the fake animal? I must have. No, you're not allowed to do anything like that. Nothing fun and malicious. <sighs> Justice probably wouldn't be happy with you.
There. That reduces my water consumption by a lot. And this reduces my fuel consumption by a lot. Alright, Foxy. Uh, go close some water, please. Let's go see what things I need to figure out now. How'd you find the latest sandstorm? Got a grain of sand stuck up in your eyelid yet? Ooh, that's the worst. But hey, looks like our sand rock's still standing. At least that's something. Is that so? Most folks take a lot longer to get used to them. Glad you aren't scared. But don't forget to be careful out there, all right? Sandstorms are nothing to mess around with. Hey, we since haven't you're here, any let me tell you what I've been here. working on lately. It's got to do with sandstorms, actually. Introducing the single action, near perfect, and dependable weather and arid lint limiter, also known as the sand wall. Once installed in your home, It'll be your last and only line of defense against the worst flying sands of the free cities. Yeah, okay. It's basically just a regular wall to help keep the sand from a storm out of your yard with the press of a button. But, uh, whatever works, right? Anyway, the prototype is almost finished. I've sent some of my diagrams over to me and... and Say, you want in on this little conniving? I'll even sweeten the pot for you. Bring me the stuff we're missing, and I'll get you a sand wall at your workshop on the house. <laughs> well, for a good price anyway. Great. Well, if it turns... Now, I have to admit, the sand wall does become a really useful thing. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge, we've got about two hundredths of an inch of precipitation total here for the year.
Yo, Grace, are you poking around the breach again? Just going for a walk. Don't tell me that's against the law now. No, uh, only walking that's against the law is jaywalking. But, uh, hey, point is, don't even think about going in there. We can't let Sears through without the proper training. I hate to be dramatic, but what's worth more to you? Your papers or your life? I know that's meant to be rhetorical, but probably my dissertation. When is the breach going to be reopened to the public? I would like to look for more relics at some point. It'll open when it's open, which is to say, when it's been reclassified as an abandoned ruins. And don't even think about trying to sneak in there. I wouldn't want to, but I do have the right to detain you if you're proven to be a danger to yourself. What's the basis for all these wild accusations? I walk down this way all the time. This imagined notion of me even thinking of sneaking into the breach is just that. Something you've just made up in your head. I also have to notice that the breach has been this way for quite some time. Normally, I would have expected you, core type, to have this handled already. Sir, if I may ask, is the stress getting to you? <laughs> hey, come on. Give us a break. Sheesh. We've been up to our eyeballs in Geeglers. Plus, there's Logan. Uh, yeah, it is getting to be a little rough out here, as a matter of fact. Glad somebody noticed. Aw, poor Justice. Why don't you just take a day off? What you need is some rest. Then you'll have your edge back. I mean, at the very least. Surely you don't need to literally stand here in front of the breach. We all know not to go in. Yeah. Maybe I could just head back to the office, pour a big old glass of yak bell milk, kick up my heels, and... Hey, wait a sec. Dang, how come every time I talk to you, I end up with a headache? <laughs> Look, Grace, I'm not kidding around. I take the safety of everybody in this town seriously. If something happened to you down there, I'd never forgive myself. Talk to me again when your fighting chops are up to snuff. Like, say... Builders here. Hmm, right, right. How about this then? If I were to commission the builder to enter the ruins on my behalf, you'd have no objections to that, would you, Sheriff? Eh? Well, I suppose if the builder agrees to it, sure. Why not? All depends on a little thing called consent. Well, the two of you figure something out. Just don't go into the breach by yourself. All right? I gotta keep patrolling. But I'm gonna have my eye on you. Maybe just adjust your stroll path to be a little less hair raising, all right? Y'all are gonna be the death of me. A giggler. A giggler well, says, you heard the man. Looks like creatures. I don't need to sneak into the breach if I can recruit your help. The things I need are relatively simple. But I think I'd feel better if someone with an eye more to... Great. A bit of context. I'm an archaeology student in Atara, saving up to finish my degree. When I have time, I try to do field work that I hope will be beneficial for when I go back. You've been to the breach, right? Did you manage to pick up on what that place used to be? You know, back in the old world? Ah, yes. That soul-crushing monotony that saps your life energy to the point where you can't break out of doing exactly the same thing every single day for years while you make money for someone else. Can you believe people used to do that? Indeed. When it was open, the breach was a believe. great place to look for archaeological finds and, uh, right, you know the story. One of my main focuses is old world audiovisual media. From salvaged memos and effects, I've discovered a concept discussed among old world drones known as huke. I've surmised this term to mean listening to music at work. So next time you're in the breach, just be on the lookout for old world music related media. Anything that seems vaguely relevant. Discs, posters. Also, I need some small chips from down there, too. For reasons. Thanks again for agreeing to do this.
What does the church want now? What if we get attacked? Or worse, lose our jobs? Oh, it's cute. All aboard the light train. Later. Choo choo! Yeah, there's a big thing. Oh, sorry. There's a big thing I could start right now. The only problem with that is if I start it, since I've only got about 40 minutes, so I have to take off. I wouldn't finish today. Two switchboards and one more hardwood plank. of course. Let's see here now. A little bit of ingenuity, a lot of C4.
This'll do it. Now I've got everything I need to start making the sand walls. You and Mian are at the top of the list. And as promised, you two are getting the hookups for a decent price. Just head over to my catalog. Well, let's see how much a decent price is for this. Conjunction Junction Catalog. So did that actually build? Seems to have. Okay, well, I'm actually going to call it here for the day, guys. I know it's, you know, only half a stream, but I actually have to get moving in not too long to get my son to his interview and take care of other things. So, thank you all for joining me today. It has been fun. Now, remember, especially when it's gray and nasty outside, your own mental health can be a very big thing. Take care of yourself. Talk to folks. You know, 
the world is not as bad as your brain can make it out to be. So, have a good one, and I look forward to seeing you later.